2. The horizon always rises to the eye level of the observer as altitude is gained, so you never have to look down to see it. If Earth were in fact a globe, no matter how large, as you ascended, the horizon would stay fixed and the observer would have to tilt looking down further and further to see it. Man, do I have some pictures to show you. The horizon is always at eye level. This is an argument that is presented by flat earthers. Actually, I shouldn't even call it an argument, it's more of an unfounded claim. Because never have I seen a flat earther ever try to take instruments out into the field to see what the horizon actually looks like when you take some sort of instrument to measure how far you have to look down to see the horizon. Now, I recently got the opportunity to do a little bit of traveling, and I decided that during my travels, I would take a few pictures using the Theodolite app on my phone. Now, the first picture that I took, I took in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is taken from the Voodoo nightclub lounge on the 50th 51st floor of the Rio Hotel. As you can see by the altitude on the app, I'm about 2,500 feet off the ground. And here, at almost dead center, it's really hard to get these pictures to be dead center, but you can see that I have to look down to the horizon. Now, by how much, you might be asking, by how much do I have to look down the horizon? Well, as it turns out, by about a degree and a half. So already, at 2,500 feet, you can see that you have to actually look down to see the horizon. Not by a lot, mind you. Most of this you probably wouldn't even notice because your brain will fix that little one degree difference between your eye level and the actual horizon. Which is why I stated earlier that you have to have some sort of precise measuring device in order to see this. But that's not where I stopped. The next morning on my flight from Las Vegas, I took this image of the horizon. Once again, you can see that I have to look down by the horizon and this is at about eye level and you can see the horizon is looks like about three degrees below the actual eye level of the camera. And so I decided to guess what? Take a picture of the actual horizon and would you look at that? Three degrees you actually have to look down by about three degrees in order to see the horizon. Again, this is actually a very small difference and more than likely your brain just sort of makes up for it. So my dear Flat Earth friends, please, please, please stop making claims and calling them arguments. To say that the horizon always rises up to eye level is not an argument. It is an unfounded claim. You have yet to demonstrate this to be true. And on the contrary, I have just demonstrated it to be false.